Good evening, everybody. Hello, everybody. Faraz 2K02, Gorilla Snow, Yassine Klausch. We got a uh, new Fallon chat, minus eight already, Jason. You can tell. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're a mind reader. Resi Desen. What? I have got sound. I have got sound. What? No volume for Steve O. <gasps> you're muted. Oh. Okay, bear with me a momento. That's really strange. Speak now. Hello, check, check, check. There we go, there we go, sorted. Um, good evening, Ian again? Anderson. Yeah, go on, do it again, there we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. there and welcome to the latest elite episode <laughs> preview show with myself steve-o and jason good evening jason hello guys how are you doing it's michael svledlin uh aussie boy fpl's there welcome to uk usama daily lama adam's in chat as well anarag's in chat we've got faraz resi uh blah, blah, blah. Resi is, is adam so matt brunton is in chat a lot of the moderators are here already simon andreason we've got fpl lad in chat shane in chat nasty bulls um we've got who else? so we got um lots of you shaban's in chat and more 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 people keep coming in welcome welcome one rovers vlogs and Matt D. Steve O, how's your week been? Uh, yeah, it's been very, very enjoyable. Well, yeah, it's been very, very enjoyable. It's been a standard old week. And of course, we did the breakfast show yesterday, which was absolutely fantastic. Got quite a bit of content from SMZ in there. But um, yeah, as ever, it's the preview show. We'll be going through our predictions of for the weekend's games. And of course, I'll be revealing the older uh, history. More importantly, the history for the captaincy cho choices, which is the most popular captain choices of the weekend and what the history says regarding their performances versus the respective teams. I also give out a little stat per game and normally the stats come out pretty highly. Normally there's one, there's normally two stats within the, um, within the stats itself. And, uh, usually one of them comes out on top, which is a uh, quite interesting. I think the most random one was uh, when Sheffield United played Southampton and in the particular six fixtures, a player has been sent off four times and then a, lo and behold, the Saturday comes along and a player was sent off in Billy Sharp. That's the most random one that came to fruition. But uh, yeah, uh, we have got people in the waiting room wanting to come live on air to do predictions with us. And Jason, I think FPL Lad was the first person in there to join us. He was. And um, obviously we want to go through the predictions of this show. I know Aussie boys pressed for time. Um, so Steve-O, did you... You're talking about people in the waiting room. Are we wanting to get one or two on before we do the predictions then? No, 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 no. I was just wondering if uh, Aussie Boy was available, just out of respect for him, because he's on yeah, holiday. Yeah, he's he can't on join holiday. us. We'll just get it, FPL Lad on. Well, Aussie Boy, if you are there, you by all means can come on. We'll get FPL Lad on, but we are going to bring on more guests after the predictions, guys. So don't worry if we don't bring you in just yet. Um, so FPL Lad, you're now live on air. It's the Game Week 8 prediction show. It's Game Week 8 already. Um, how are you feeling? Hi, uh, chaps. Yep, very good, thanks. How are you? Well, um, as an FPL manager, I am absolutely dis depressed. Um, <laughs> and as a Manchester United supporter, I'm absolutely fuming depressed. and depressed. <laughs> I, I Literally, I am so glad that work commitments meant I had no chance in hell of watching that shambles of a game this evening and i'm gonna say right now to so all of you watchers and i'm gonna solemnly swear that i am not gonna watch a single minute of a manchester united game live until till january we need a brim we need <laughs> ibrahimovic we need him we need him so much like it doesn't matter about dan james's pace it doesn't mean matter how many balls we get into the box we got no finishes we're toothless with, it's disgusting, as Steve would like to say. I'm absolutely <laughs> fed up with the negative, depressing football that Manchester United are playing right now. Is an they, they do not deserve to wear the shirt. They really don't. And I'm I am so sorry for the people that have got Wamba Saka in their team. And <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah dejected. But anyway, welcome to the stream, FPL lad. If you don't know already, FPL lad's a bit of a um, an Instagram celebrity. Um, are you <laughs> set up for game week eight? No, not at all. 
I'm, uh, I've got a bit of a uber fear factor going on. I need oh. Aubameyang in my team. Right. But it means I've got to sell Salah. Have you and... posted your team in the uh, screenshots? Um, let's do that afterwards. Forget all this rubbish. Let's just do that afterwards. <laughs> let's do the predictions. Let's get on the important thing, the predictions. And by right. the way, I, by okay, the way well, everybody, uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. I'm not really much of the birthday man. Wait, you, so when's ha- your birthday? Now, today, right this second. But, really? Uh, I don't really care for birthdays. How old are you, 47? People that have actually... Uh, 23. Uh, but all these people um, wishing me happy birthday, I didn't even mention it apart from once yesterday. So thank you very much for the very kind... Uh, well, you have to have a birthday, birthday shot. Happy birthday, Steve. You have to have a birthday I shot, had my, surely, uh, mate. I had my uh, uh, four donuts this morning. I thought I may treat myself rather than having a... Just rolls, but anyway, yeah. Let's move on to the predictions. Let's move on to the proper stuff. Let's move on to what we think we're heading into this particular game week. And as ever, Jason, uh, the way this uh, particular game works is um, you get one point for getting the correct outcome right. You get two points for near enough and three points for bang on the money. Last week, uh, special guest host uh, Nymphria, uh, she came out top annoyingly. So congratulations to Nymphria. It was a very high scoring. Uh, game week last week so let's uh, hope that continues and yeah we kick off with Brighton versus Spurs and um, Spurs are an absolute shambles but I really do like to think that they should come through this that their away record they haven't won since away at Fulham in January I heard which is absolutely extraordinary but yeah I think though this is going to be a very 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 tight game and I'm personally going to go with Spurs to just come through this 2-1 just Jason again I'm in agreement with you I think it's going to be a tight game Brighton defensively looking okay Spurs they're going to have enough to I think break through the attack but not many goals I'm going to go it's okay do I see them conceding I think Brighton will probably get I'm going to go no I'm going to go 1-0 to Tottenham yeah uh, I feel lad um okay I think that uh, Brighton haven't scored more than once at home in their last 16 home matches. Um, really? And Spurs, and Spurs don't win away, so I've gone for a one-all. Oh, OK. Well, well, the history, it's going with a 2-1 victory to Spurs. Um, if this was at Tottenham's ground, there's been three clean sheets. However, away from home, it's been at both teams to score. So both teams have scored at away fixture. And uh, But Tottenham have won five out of the last six. So it does look in favour of uh, Tottenham. What are the folks saying, Show Jason? me the Mane says 4-1 to Brighton. New foul saying one all. Is that why he's doing so well in the league at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Shane 83 2-0 to Spurs. <laughs> Michael Svedin, 2-2. A lot of draws, actually, I've seen. Um, Arnie Ardle, 3 0 to Spurs. Resi Desi, aka Adam, uh, is got said 2 1 to Brighton. Um, Spurs are going to get spanked, says Yassin in chat. Uh, 2 1 to Spurs, says Tariq Ozen. Uh, Aussie Boy says 2 0 to Spurs. Yeah, a lot of people going with the Spurs win. 2 1, says uh, Yassin. And uh, Paul J says 1 0. Uh, hang on a minute, Yassin, you said Spurs getting spanked. But then you said 2-1 to Spurs. What's, go- what's going on? <laughs> Makes no sense. Anarag saying 2-1 to Spurs. Brighton 8, Spurs 2, says Tahir. All right. You, you've been starting. Are you drinking early? Uh, Matt D, 2-0. Aman Dillon says 2-0. Honey Glaze Gammon, Jason in the Bahamas. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm loving life right now. So, got under the heat lamp. You're wearing something special, are you? No, I'm, I put my hit glasses on again. Anyway, um... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah, let's move on to the mighty Burnley yes, versus you know, Everton. Yeah, it's Saturday and it means one thing. Soccer Saturday with Elite FPL. Yeah, must, are you doing it tomorrow, Jason? Uh, Saturday, Jason? Are you uh, to? Don't know, actually. Uh, <laughs> Can we ever do one together? <laughs> well, it's because I've got family coming over and they've got a habit of... St- Staying longer than I anticipate, so <laughs> I don't want to say yes just at the moment. It might have to come in later. Um, okay. Maybe, so, but I'll let you know tomorrow morning. I know it's not help, but Steve will be hopefully free at three o'clock. Hopefully, I'll be free. You're not free at three. <laughs> you're not free at three. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll be doing a stream, um, but just stay posted on it. Anyway, it's not one yeah. of our scheduled streams, so we're allowed to be a little bit flexible on Saturdays. Um, <laughs> 
But yes, you, you mentioned the Burnley versus Everton, three o'clock kickoff on Saturday, and I think these two are just going to cancel each other out. I, I, I'm going to go with a 1 1 draw, Jason. Um, I see. Yeah, I was literally going to say that. And obviously, you got Aussie boys saying the same. Um, I think this could be one of those games where Burnley win. I'm going to go 2 1 to Burnley. You, you'll probably be happy with that, wouldn't you? I'd, I'd, I'd take that, especially over a team that are out of form at the moment. FPL lad, do you want any nice stats on this particular game? Um, I haven't actually. I've just been oh. trawling, trawling through to find some. But I think, like you, they will, uh, they'll probably cancel each other out. Um, but as I've got Nick Pope in goal, I'm going to go for one nil. One the... nil to Burnley. Well, the history is going completely against that. It's going to go two one to. Uh... To Everton. Everton have won four out of the last six. However, the last two, um, well, sorry, the Burnley, two of the last six fixtures have won at home 2 1. So hopefully the omens are there. And I see quite a lot of people are going 2 1, roughly, as the average score in here. But moving on to uh, one of the bigger games, shall we say, at the, <coughs> on the um, Saturday. It's uh, Liverpool versus Leicester. Liverpool, of course, having a bit of a scare last mm. night. And, but I think this should be, this is going to be again. Very, very tight game. I was thinking 1-0 to Liverpool. Uh, I'm going to go... I've gone 2-0 instead, Jason. I think that, um, well, that Liverpool's class will you, show through. You're confident so. in a Liverpool clean sheet then, are you? With the, with yes, the injury, yes. with the injury I just to Matip? I just... Well, I think he may play, but... Uh, I, well, I, I hope um, he plays, so I'm banking on it. I just um, think the thought that Leicester, Leicester can't score against United um, tells me a lot, oh. but... Yeah, but United so uh, United are playing men beyond the ball. So no, I I think that um, I think Leicester will score in this game. I think it will be a two-one win to Liverpool. As you can see, so far no clean sheets. Mm, FPL lad, hello. Oh, hello, hello lad. Hello. Sorry, yeah, sorry, just broke up there. Yeah, I should be after my prediction. Yeah, what's yes, your please. prediction, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've going for one all. Yeah, one what? So I don't. So yeah, I think Liverpool are might drop shots. Leicester yeah. are putting a halt to Liverpool's winning streak, are they? I think so. I think so. Leicester are uh, the best defensive team in the last four game weeks. Don't you know? Mm. Um, they've only conceded three goals, which is second best to uh, West Ham and Liverpool have only conceded twice and in terms of shots conceded Leicester have conceded 32 in the last four games which is only better by Man City with 30 Wow, nice nice so, statistics there nice, nice ones there uh, the history's going 2-1 to Liverpool uh, Liverpool have won four out of the last six uh, there have been two two ones in that uh, particular um, uh, in this particular fixture, and there has been one clean sheet over the last six, which went to Leicester. So you well, never know. Honey Glaze Gammon says three one. Ibrahim Sadat says two one to Liverpool. A lot of people going with Liverpool win three two to the Champions of Europe. Says Simon uh, Simeon Bachelor. T- Paul J says again two one. Um, uh, two one being lit. Oh, actually, Dave Tunney says Leicester upset two one. Um, going with with my prediction there, one Rovers vlog says two on Liverpool, but the majority of people, rightly so, um, are going with um, the Liverpool victory there. Um, mm. So so mm. yeah, moving moving into the the next fixture now. This is P- Pookie's last chance for a lot of FPL managers yeah. and me me included. This this is a possibly a captain pick as well for those maybe looking to. Um, you know, cash in on those halls at home for Norwich. Um, what does the history say? Will people be saying for Steve-O shortly? Norwich v Villa. Do you want to do you want to go with my prediction first? Well, before you do that, I've just forgotten something about popular captaincy picks and regarding the Liverpool Leicester fixture. Uh, regarding Salah and Mane, completely forgot about these two. So essentially, Salah has started four games versus Leicester has scored two goals and got one assist. Mane, on the other hand, uh, three starts and exactly the same as Salah. Two goals and one assist. So if you're planning on captaining one of them two, Mane looks like your guy. But is this what the history is telling you to captain? You'll find out at the end. Uh, Yeah, sorry, you were saying, uh, Jason, Norwich, Aston Villa. What what are you thinking on this game? I'm putting in the score prediction of 3-1. And remember, guys, to be playing along with us in the score predictions games. Free to play. Sign up at elitefpl.com. 
um, and jump in with the, the leaderboard. I will. Um, I've announced the winner. Um, I've contacted the winner of September. I'm waiting to hear a reply back from that person. I need it. I need your address. So if um, I think it was Christian. So Christian, if you are watching the stream. I have emailed you at your email address that you used to sign up to the score prediction site. Please email me back and we'll sort out your pookie shirt. Um, but yes, um, moving on to your prediction, Steve. Yeah, I, I'm going one less goal than you. I'm going 2-1 to Norwich. I think they'll just just have enough to uh, oust Aston Villa. Uh, FPL lad, any uh, stats on this game? Um, I have got... What have I got? I've got stats on pookie in home games. I'll reel a couple of these off. Um, because obviously he's blanked a few away recently, so everyone's saying this is his last chance, as you said. Um, In home games, he's averaged 13.3 points per game this season. It's not bad. Um, In home games, uh, yeah, shots in the box, he's had 12, which is second in the league. Uh, Shots on target, he's had nine, which is the most of any player in the league. And expected assists, 1.44, which is the top. Um, XG in open plays 1.64 which is fourth and bonus points he has got maximum bonus points from every home game this season well, yeah and, that, and, that, and that's the thing um, just one quick question for you uh, <laughs> uh, FPL lad is uh, if for example uh, Pookie does get a double digit haul like he's been doing every single home game do you think that he's worth keeping for the whole of the season just for home games alone um, I don't think anyone's a season keeper, to be honest. You know, like everyone's really, really yeah. You, Salah's people are saying, "Oh, Salah, you can't get rid of him. He'll score X amount of points." But people are looking to get rid of him. De Bruyne, he might get injured. You just no, no one is ever ever a season keeper for me. You like we might be getting them in and bring them out. You might go with the fixtures. I don't know. De Bruyne is a you bit. You can't. De Bruyne is close. If it, say say uh, Pep comes out tomorrow and goes, "Oh yeah, he's out for three weeks." Oh, well, let me get rid of him. Yeah, no, I'm talking about like assuming that he's assuming not injured. Assuming he's yeah, everyone's yeah, fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'll yeah. quite happily bench him if if he if he's going to be rested for a game, or whatever, or or still play one game. Yeah, you know. But I mean, it's a case of like if he was injured. I said that, you know. Or, yeah, um, fair enough. Last, last See, with, with KDB though as well, he's one of the best players in pretty much the best team. Pookie is playing for a team that's fighting off relegation at the end of the day and if he's only good in half their matches and you only want him in half of those matches no. then mm, mm. No. I think a lot of people hold on to him because the value we've got wrapped up in him but if you like like you Jason I know you took him out and got him back yeah, in yeah so I don't I don't, have the, I don't have loyalties you as can, anymore, yeah you know. Yeah, he's, he's he's on he's walking a tightrope. He's on very thin ice at the moment, and if he doesn't do anything <laughs> against Villa, then he's out for me. And I may even go back to a strong midfield, um, and just and just keep Aguero and um Tammy up front. But I'll divulge my plan because because I've already <laughs> had somebody in chat go, "Why are you wearing your sunglasses inside for?" Well, actually, these, these well, I wear these when I'm a. Uh, going a bit mad on <laughs> come hits, on jason so. explain yourself i think it's oh, disgusting. we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there I could do what I want. One, one more thing on uh on pookie if he does blank at home to villa his next home match is man united so he should be fine <laughs> yeah well um if i'm not allowed, if i'm not allowed to swear on well, stream, well, jason. if i'm not allowed to swear on stream i'm allowed to wear my glasses all right there we go <laughs> oh sorry Just to bring bring you know jason we've got a, a celebrity in the house it's it's Marlon Moore. Oh, here he is. Look. Number one of our oh. cash mini league. Marlon, if you're uh-huh. willing to come live on air on the Discord, you know where we're at. Uh, uh, if you're lad, what's your prediction for Norwich versus Aston Villa? 3 1. 3 1. Yeah, yeah, 3 1 to Norwich. Um, yeah, 3 1 to Norwich. And Steve O's internet's starting to uh, get a little bit uh, creaky again. But to, you're back again. It's fine. Um, yeah, okay. So Watford versus Sheffield. Oh, Sheffield United um, for the next fixture. Um, Steve-O, your thoughts on that one? Gosh, it's going to be awful. This is going to be absolutely shambolic. I'm, I'm going nil-nil. I think this is going to be awful. Nil-nil, Jason. Nil-nil. I'm going to go... I haven't predicted any clean sheets so far. Um, It's, gonna, it's not going to be the game of the weekend. Oh, I think. Sh- I think it's going to be... 
Oh, it's me taking my time over the mundane games again, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> I'm going to go 1-0 to Sheffield United. There we go. 1-0 to Sheffield United. Clean sheet for Sheffield United. Want to I'm going 0-0. Boring. <laughs> Sheffield United are good defensively, and they're away. They'll just shut up shop. Watford won't break them down. If they can't score in 40 shots against Arsenal, <laughs> then they're not going to you know I mean? score in Sheffield United. Wow, so, Dylan says 2-0. JD Johannes is saying 1 0 Sheffield United. 1 0 says when FPL Penguin. 1 0. <laughs> there we go. Um, any All stats you want to read out for that, or are you just not bothered about that one? <laughs> nah, just not bothered about that one. <laughs> um, the, the mighty West Ham oh. versus Palace. Well, from a, from a from from my point of view, from a history point of view, we're going uh, what for 3 0. That's right, 3 0. Uh, what, there's out uh, of the six games, there's been five clean sheets, and the last two have been a uh, three nil to to Watford. Mm. <laughs> Who knows with the history there? Yeah, you are right. Uh, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Jason. Your thoughts on this particular game? I think that um, I think West Ham have got enough to win this game. Um, Palace aren't exactly looking that threatening up front. I don't think they're gonna give West even with Fabianski being injured. I think they'll probably score one goal at best. Do I think West Ham are going to keep a clean sheet going forward now with Fabianski injured? It's less likely. And uh, as the guys on the uh, Planet FPL podcast were talking about, it's um, now is not the time to own any West Ham defenders. So I think that um, I think this is going to be a two-one win to West Ham. Lots of two ones on my predictions at the moment. Yeah, I'm going 1-1. I think these two, again, will, they'll just cancel each other out. I was thinking maybe 1-0 to West Ham, 2-1, but I just think that uh, Crystal Palace's defence is pretty solid, as uh, FPL lad, as a Crystal Palace fan will attest to. Mm-hmm. I just think that with that Fabianski news, I think, yeah, I think 1-1. But yeah, FPL lad, it's your team. Uh, your thoughts on this game? Oh, I hate this fixture. I've, I've been to West Ham away three years on the bounce, and we've lost every time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's what the history's saying. Um, yeah. I can't predict us to lose, though, right? It's just not allowed. It's going nil-nil. Um, <laughs> we're good, we are good away from home, apart from at West Ham. We finished fifth in the away table last season. We've already been to Old Trafford and won this season. <sighs> They've got no Fabianski, so we might score more than once again. We very rarely do. Well, um, I... I'm going for 2-1 two, two Palace. I don't wow. know who's scoring. Probably Yarmolenko for West Ham. Yep. Um, and who knows for Palace. We'll talk about Yarmolenko a little bit more later on in the, in the podcast because he's mm. coming in my team this week and um, more to be divulged, obviously, um, slightly later in the stream. But um, no, 2-1 to Palace. I don't know where your goals are coming from unless it's a penalty. No, I, me, me neither. I mean, mm. no, um, Milivojevic is suspended. Wow. Five yellow cards. Oh, of course oh, he is, yeah. So... If we do get a pen, then I don't know. Who's going to take it? Well, Ben Teke was before, but he oh. can't even get the team. He don't get the team now, so it won't be him. Oh, God. I don't okay. know. We don't have one. Probably Jordan I who will blaze it over. So well, you were you were yes. bang on with the history. Uh, the history's going three-one to West Ham. Uh, they are unbeaten in the last six uh, matches versus you lot. That's including at um, Selhurst mm-hmm. Park. And the last two at West Ham, they have scored three goals. So they're, they're going 3-1. Sorry, Jason, F- you F- say F- Aguero says 3-1 to Hammers. Arne Arnold says 1-0. Um, Anish, Anish in chat saying 1-0 to Palace. Um, West Ham 2-0 says JD Johannes. Um, Amanda Lynn says 2-1 to West Ham. FPL Penguin 1-0 to West Ham. Pavel in chat saying uh, no Milivojevic. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be hard, I think, for Palace to get goals, I think. I really do think they're going to struggle. Yarmolenko goals, for, uh, says FPL Penguin, I'll take that. Um, David Hackanson says 2-1. One, one Rovers vlog, uh, vlog says uh, Yarmolenko double, yes, please. Going to Old Trafford ain't hard anymore, says David. Yep, I completely agree. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ben Teke is the worst penalty taker, for them, worse than Pogba. Oh, come on. That's a bit harsh. Jason, until you've been there, mate, you can't, honestly. Mm, yeah. he is the worst he, oh, anyway moving on anyway um so so we move on to the sunday fixtures we've start with arsenal at home to bournemouth a team that can't defend against a team that is happy to score 
and consistent at scoring. And can't defend. And can't defend. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's two teams that can that can score but just can't keep clean sheet and can't defend. So it could be. Will it be one of those games where it's end to end? Stevo. Um, no. I think Arsenal are going to dominate this game and I'm going with a comfortable victory here at 3-1, Jason. Oh, okay. Interesting. 3-1. I don't think, my friend, that Arsenal are going to only let one goal in in this game. I, I'm going to go with a shock. I'm going to go with 3-2 to Bournemouth. 3-2 to Bournemouth? 3-2 wow. to Bournemouth. I, I've, I honestly think that... Um, Bournemouth have got goals in them this game. I really do. If any of you guys got <laughs> Yo, Callum Wilson, you'd be loving life. He's uh, going to yeah, bully Yeah, funny him. enough, uh, when I tell you about the history, you definitely will be. Uh, the FPL lad, are you thinking about 3-2 uh, to Bournemouth? Uh, or even a Bournemouth win? <laughs> I that... could, is, I'm, not, I'm not seeing a Bournemouth win, but I'm seeing a lot of goals. Well, Dan's 20... in chat telling me to behave myself. <laughs> 25 goals in the last six matches between these two teams. And last season at the Emirates, it was 5-1 to Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going for 4-2 this time. And an uber mega haul. Dan, Dan's telling me to behave myself about the Arsenal <laughs> prediction. You wait until I come to the United prediction. There we go, carry on. <laughs> I think if you've got a Bamiyang Callum Wilson up front, you've just, you probably get about 30 points between the two this week. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because <clears throat> that's what exactly what the history is saying. So 3-1 to Arsenal. Arsenal, um, uh, in this particular fixture over the last six, have scored 17 goals. Bournemouth have scored eight. But um, 11 of those 17 for Arsenal have actually come at home. And uh, regarding captaincy choices, so Aubameyang, he started twice against Bournemouth and has scored two goals. But interestingly enough, Callum Wilson has uh, started four times against Arsenal and has got three goals and one assist, two of those goals being penalties. So, as FPL Lad said, if you've got both Wilson and Aubameyang, you could be in for a bit of a haul at this particular game week. I see a lot of people going for the old uh, high-scoring game, Jason. Yeah, a lot of people talking about 3-2 to Arsenal, 5-1 again, says Cameron in chat, uh, 4-1 to Arsenal, Pepe Brace says fast air, we've got FPL Penguin going 3-1, uh, we've got Requiem saying, guys, your so poor predictions. Do you think form is the only thing that matters? No, that's why we talk about history. Um, we've got Orba Hattrick says, honey glazed gammon. We've got, uh, as a king, Wilson and Aubameyang owner. I love the sound of that, says Mika in chat. Uh, Steve Iron says 3 0. And um, 4 2 says, one of his vlogs. There we go. Did you say someone was called honey glazed gammon? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What a name. Well played, yeah, whoever that is. <laughs> Little one of them Steve O'Clats. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, at, <laughs> at the moment, um, Arsenal are winning 3-0 with a bunch of kids. So, yeah, they seem to be showing how, showing Man U how it's done. But we'll get on to them in a minute. Uh, moving on to uh, well, another captaincy team here in Man City versus Wolves. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go with a very boring game here. And I think that just like last night, I think it's going to take a bit of class for Man City. And I think they'll break through the Wolves defence who drew 0-0 tonight. And I'm going to go 2-0 to Man City, Jason. I'm doubling that. I'm going to go 4-1. Man City. 4-1. 4-1. 4-1. Why are you thinking that? You think Wolves are that bad? I think I think they're going to still suffer from the old um, Europa fixtures. I think their their teams probably not not quite there yet. I think that um, the man and Man City they can score as many goals as they want, my friend, and they're going to have the likes of Bernardo Silva, they have Mares. And, uh, b- breaking news: the uh, Wolves actually won one nil. When did they score in the Bolly, last, not, last, sec- last few seconds. seconds or something like that? <laughs> really? Yeah, Willy oh, Bolly. Okay. Yeah, so everyone get on in that bandwagon. Um, I do think that uh, Wolves will um, suffer a heavy loss at home, uh, away, sorry, at City uh, on Sunday. I really do. Especially with City needing to make a statement. Obviously, Liverpool um, comfortably at the top of the table. Um, they need to keep up the form. I think they will. I think City will win comfortably. <clears throat> Your thoughts on this, uh, FPL lad? Think you'd be comfortable? Um yeah, I do. Um, just to cover the Wolves match tonight, they did keep a clean sheet away, but Besiktas only had one shot on target. Um, so that probably is not too hard for them. Um, but in terms of City, 
Um, obviously, they are just smashing anyone that comes up against them, especially yeah. at home. Yeah, winning like eight nil, four nil, whatever. Well, they aren't going to park the bus, are they? No, no, I think they will. No, they they they're going to draw won't. every game. The they only won't. thing I will say about Wolves is they've got big time Charlies in their team. That like when they play the big teams, you saw last season they were good against the top six. That's why they I said were really good. I think they'll get because half half their team play for Portugal. So when they go to Turf Moor, they don't really fancy it. But at the Etihad, they might they might quite like the look of that. Um, but um, for Man City, yeah, I've got three 0 and just Aguero to do bits again. Oh please, cause... Aguero. I'm literally. It's he's been a he's nightmare. had his rest now, hasn't he? He's had Has his he? rest now. He well, he yeah, he come off the bench because they weren't like easily cruising at Everton. Otherwise, he would have just sat on the bench if they were winning three 0 He played Tuesday. Um, yeah, he's saying he's playing. It depends on who they're playing against, right? So... Well, I I I, do, I hope you're right. I really do. I can't go for another. About, uh, I can't go for another Aguero benching. I mean, that was just literally my heart. <laughs> My heart stopped. No, but um, well, again, I've got a master plan, guys. Don't worry. I've got the shades on. Everything's going to be cool. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, what's the history saying about Man City Wolves? It's going 3-0, but um, although Man City are in beaten six, they've actually only won three of those uh, six games. There's been four clean sheets over the last six Three of the games have been draws, two of which have been nil-nil. And I remember telling this stat about the Norwich game, and we all know what happened there. Norwich came out and beat Man mm. City, so um, don't think that's happening. Be something don't to think listen that's to. Happening. Oh, you never know. You never know. On to Southampton versus Chelsea. Mm. You know what? This for me could be goals galore, but um, I'm going to go Chelsea to win three-one, Jason. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Southampton going to score. To be honest with you, people are bringing in the likes of Tomori might be happy. I'm going to go with a two 0 win to Chelsea. I feel lad. Um, agree, two 0 um, Hey, I I just want to um back up Mr. Abraham again, who I spent points on to bring in last week, and he blanked. <laughs> but, but whatever he's, he's going to pay um, back now he's, he's going to pay me back because in the last four game weeks I'm going to reel off some of these um, goal attempts 16 only second to Aguero big chances created 9 which is most in the league amongst forwards this is shots in the box 16 only behind Aguero shots on target 10 that's most that's first and XG in open play which is XG without penalties Um that's 3.82, which is also best in the league. Mm. So he's basically mm. top for everything wow. and a couple of bits behind Aguero. So. Okay, well, let's see. Boom. I've got, I've got him I didn't, I didn't actually well. mention... So you've got, if you got, you've got Aguero and Tammy. I've got Aguero, Puki and Tammy. And um, <laughs> I've put a captain's article out this evening, actually, which has got all three <laughs> of them in comparing them. So you might want to read it. <laughs> oh, well, I look forward to that later on. Um, yeah. Nice plug there. I didn't actually mention the history for Sterling and Aguero's popular captain picks for this particular game week, and uh, More. it's not really looking good at all for these two against Wolves. Uh, Sterling has made three starts, and a sub-appearance has done absolutely nothing. Aguero, four starts, one sub-appearance, just the one goal and one assist. Not particularly looking great at all for that. Um... On to Newcastle versus uh, your team, Jason. Man, you, I, I had this down as one-one. Then I was thinking nil-nil. Then I'm thinking, <sighs> do I go Man United victory here? I just think that Man United's class will just shine through, and I'm going to go <laughs> just Man United's class. One, yeah, just one-nil. I don't and know I mean, what games you've been watching, mate. They do have quality. It's just if they decide to turn up or not. But yes, I am. Yeah, I'm going Jesse one nil. <laughs> no, I'm just going to. I, I just want to. Your camera's gone small, Steve. I'm just going to call you back. I don't know what's happened. Um, one moment, guys. We're calling back. I can't be dealing with seeing small Steve for 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 the next twenty minutes. Hopefully, this will fix the issue. Right, there he is. He's kind of back. There we go. That's a bit better now. Right. So, um, yeah, 
Newcastle at home to Man United. I, I, you go first, if you like, because I've got a lot to say on this. Um, I'm just, I just find it hilarious that we're comparing the likes of Ki Sung Yong to Paul Pogba. Just shows how far they've fallen. Um, I'm just, Paul Pogba's not even playing. Well, I'm, I'm just going. I'm just over to you, Jason. One nil United, just because they should be better. They should be right. Anyway, I, I love the, the non-United supporters are actually going with the United possible United victory. I I think this is another struggle for United. I really do. Every game is a struggle at the moment, and I don't think I don't think Ollie's got a clue on how to to do these to do tactical master, master changes. You know, it's, this whole hyping up a Greenwood and then just not playing him. You know, and I think Greenwood deserves a start in this game. I hope he does. Um, I. I'm not so convinced. I think this is going to be another disappointing game for United. And I even think United are going to lose 1-0. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Newcastle 1, United 0. 1-0 to Newcastle. Yeah, 1-0 to Newcastle. Your internet's crap, Steve-O, again, by the way, just to let you know. <laughs> uh, anyway. I got that, wow, I got, well, I got well, that off well, my chest. There we go. The history of... History's going 3-1 to United. Uh, United have scored... Uh, there's been 19 goals in this fixture, 12 of them for United. And um, although there has been two clean sheets out of the last um, six going to Newcastle. So maybe this could be a tight game after all, Jason. But uh, FPL lad, before we start the predictions, we were talking about the uh, game week ahead and you had a bit of a dilemma with your team. Do you want to tell us about um, it? Yeah, I've posted my team now in the uh, screenshots. Let me bring that up in a second, right? Just give me one moment because... Um... Uh, hopefully Steve-O's internet does improve as we go through. You've gone small again, but you are audible. We can see you. We can see a tiny bit of you, um, but it's all right. So let me just bring up your screenshots. Just bear with me. Good team. Very, very good team. Yeah, I used the... Uh, I did three transfers for minus four last week to bring in Abraham Mount and Pereira, which paid off quite nicely. Um, oh. But... You're doing very, very well in the cash winning league, aren't you? Um, I think I just, I think I'm about twentieth, maybe something like that. I've been right. hovering yeah, in around there the whole season, really. Every, I have a good week, then an average one, and then it just depends if I get my captain through yard, really. That's the end of it. Right. So you get your team up yeah, there. Twenty second. Yeah. So Nick Pope in goal for the people listening in on audio. Nick Pope in goal. Alexander, uh, Alexander Arnold home to Leicester. Kelly uh, away at West Ham. Otamendi at home to Wolves. Salah. Uh, home to Leicester, Mount away at Southampton, Sterling home to Wolves, De Bruyne, captain, interesting, home to Wolves, Cantwell, another possible injury concern, we don't know yet, home to Aston Villa, Abraham away at Southampton and Pukki at home to Aston Villa. On the bench, you've got uh, Heaton, a rotatable goalkeeper, Gilbert away at Norwich, Greenwood away at Newcastle and Pereira away at Liverpool. Very strong, balanced team there. Thank you. <laughs> so, What are your plans on... Oh. What are your plans with Aguero? Uh, De Bruyne? Aguero? I can't get Aguero because I've got Triple City and I'm not getting rid of KDB, Sterling or Otamendi. So Aguero is just out of the question, sadly, even though he is just top in every single stats table. But I'm on Sterling now. I've got to stick with him. Mm. And 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 are you, I'm assuming you're going to be captaining Sterling for this particular game week. Well, yeah, I think the the quotes coming out around KDB, I think he's either going to play like and just start, or he's just we just won't see him at all. I hope so. I hope you don't come on for um, one minute cameo. So if he's got an injury, there's there's no chance he comes yeah, on yeah, for yeah, a cameo. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So um, so that's why I put the captain on him. My only worry is when the only time KDB hasn't played this season is when they lost to Norwich and they struggled with creating so if if KDB doesn't play I think that does impact other city captain options mm. no that's a fair shout that's a fair shout I mean looking at your team though, there's, there's a lot of potential here for goals you talked mm. about Pukki so, Abraham yeah. Salah yeah. Um, Mount Sterling, Sterling and De Bruyne I mean De Bruyne is more of an assist king but you know that racks up the points racks up the bonus points even I would even say Cantwell if, if fit has got a good shout at getting some points there. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he's, he's got averaged the great... six. He's averaged six point seven at home. Yeah, this and season as well. So 
Uh, obviously, Alexander Arnold is a is a favourite, FPL favourite. Otamendi a good choice now. Obviously, with the old Zinchenko question mark, and yeah, mm-hmm. Kelly's not gonna. It's just a, an end for the means. But um, mm, I don't of, know if he's gonna play if Sacco's fit. But I've just got yeah. that hole. I just I don't know if it's just to play Gilbert. To, but then I, mean, you, oh, I wouldn't. I'd play Pereira. But then I've got Campwell and Puke. I I'd play Pereira it, right? over Gilbert, mate. Well, I really would. I'm yeah because I'm. This is. I've only got one transfer. I might do. I might take a hit, um, especially after seeing the Arsenal team tonight to get in a Bamiang for Greenwood. Right. Um, I obviously have. I've no money in the bank, which so I take out Salah. Ooh, for who? What like Yarmolenko? For it's either McGinn or Yarmolenko. Yeah. Oh. That's... And it yeah. seems horrible. It seems horrible taking out Salah, and everything. Every Does stat it... I look at says it's a good option. But then it just doesn't feel right. Well, I've took out like, Salah a few weeks ago, and I'm missing him right now. And nah. and I think Mane just, can cover. No, the fear. Mm. Like the thing is, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't have any attack. I'd only have one. I'd only have Alexander Arnold. The, the fear is there, but you're not going to captain Salah, are you, this week? So you, no, uh, they've also it... got. They've also got some tough fit. This is it. I was thinking, Aubameyang and Salah both scored 53 points so far, um, and going in like the next five, Salah are play, um, Salah's playing like the top five teams. Pretty much, kind of thing. Um, and how, Arsenal how, pretty much the playing the bottom you've got to five. Ask yourself, so. Is how many people are going to be captain in Salah over the next five game weeks? Is a in a, in a top, I don't know, one hundred k. You know, maybe in the top five hundred k. I mean, let's be honest with you. Like you said, the fixtures aren't great. There's a lots of other potential uh, captain choices with Man City, with Chelsea mm. now. Um, so, is it really that much of a risk getting rid of Salah at this point? At the moment, he's not really singing. It, it, it's not. It's technically not, but you know he's just randomly going to finish yeah, yeah. top point scorer, even though we're all going to say he's rubbish all year, and he'll well, just be top point scorer again. He'll, he'll end up going through a, uh, he'll go through a patch where he'll just score like two or three goals in in game. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll be like, was, oh my god, I need him in. Yeah, I was all happy to get rid of him, and then I was just last night he just goes and scores a brace, and you're like, he didn't even look that like, dangerous, and no. then the goals he scored were just lucky, but. He's just in the right place at the right time. Yeah, but he's just not well, doing it for me in the Premier League at the moment. I just, I wouldn't look at Europe as yeah. being a, a solid gauge. But um, no, um, I, that team's pretty solid. Obviously, if you've, you've got your plan, I would be putting Pereira a bit ahead of Gilbert, though. To be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Well, if I sell Salah, then I can well, put Pereira do, in and yeah, hope yeah, for yeah. a nil-nil. That'd be nice. At least he's going to play. <laughs> 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 no, that's fair enough. Yeah. I mean, and. Um, um, did you have anything else to say about that, or um, were you going to move on? Um, oh no, move on, move on. Only if I do bring in a Bamiang, he will be my captain. If I do it, if so. you bring in a Bamiang, yeah, yeah, because it will be for minus for the... four, will it? Or yeah, yeah, be for so yeah, so you'll want to probably do that. Okay, so I've got my hit glasses on. A few of you probably probably want to know what my plan is. This is my plan, guys. This is the time where I reveal my thought process. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback and Steve O's reaction. My team is up on the screen as we speak right now okay so adrian hoping he's gonna play there's always an outside chance that allison could ruin my game week i'm i'm this is all banking on adrian playing i'm i'm i don't know i'm i'm, I'm confident he will um dinya away at burnley Ugh, uh um, um Please, didn't you get me some attacking returns? Um, Lundstrom away away at Watford. I, I mean, I'm again. It's this isn't amazing. Um, Matip possible injury uh, home to Leicester. Again, I'm praying. I'm living on a hope and a prayer right now that these players are going to play. Um, that are in my team. I've got Dan James. Right. So this is Dan James, Son, De Bruyne, Mane, Abraham, Puki, Aguero. Now, just let's just get to it, shall we? I'm going to get rid of Dan James. In fact, let's go into the transfer t- page. Here we go. I'm going to get rid of Dan James. I'm going to get rid of Dina. And I'm going to get rid of Lansbury. And then I'm going to bring in Tomori. And then I'm going to bring in Yarmolenko. You with me, guys? You with me so far? Then I'm going to bring in McGinn. All right. So my team will then be, look like this. So if I do these moves, this is the this is the logic. 
I would have five in midfield. Obviously, I can't play all five because I'd have the front three of Aguero, Puki, and Abraham. So I'd probably have to bench McGinn due to Fitch. I think Yarmolenko's Fitch is better than McGinn's. So I'd bench McGinn for this week. And then I would have, if if the issue with De Bruyne, if De Bruyne doesn't play, I would have McGinn coming on for him instead of Loughton. Well, who is, let's be honest, isn't going to play. Or or the likes of, um, sorry, not Loughton, sorry, um, the other guy Lansbury Lansbury that's him Lansbury. that's it Lansbury so so I think this team with a minus eight is a lot more I think it's I've got I've, I've got you say a... this every week every week you say the same thing and every week it's uh, while well, I do it Chase you're just trying I mean, to like, I, Charlie I Hank. The Mane. thanks for the thanks for the points hit Jason Jason, delete your account if you make that move and stop with fantasy. No, no. no I mean, wh- why? I mean, they're, they're not bad moves. They're not bad moves. Why don't you just use your wild card? Not worthy, I think. Why don't I use your wild card? You talked no, about I'm the free hit. The free hit. The... No, not, not for this. You can't use free hit. Steve, I stop trying to sabotage his team. You're taking minus 16, says Honey Glaze Gamut. No, no, no. I think I think that if I do this, I'm covering my back with De Bruyne and possibly even Aguero. But I think Aguero, I don't know. I so think... what did the minus 16 do then, if we're now doing a minus 8? Well, we're not talking about, we're not talking about the minus 16. <laughs> we're not Sorry, talking guys. about the minus 16. Sorry. We're talking about this week. And it's fine. Um... That's the plan. So, yes. So, just to say that it would be Dinya, Lansbury, Daniel James out for Tomori, Yarmolenko and McGinn in. I, for the fixtures and the form, I quite like that. Just Obviously. do it. <laughs> Jay- Jason, I think just... Get on with it. Jason, you need to DM Charlie Hayes. Toss a coin. Yeah, I agree with Nafel. Toss a coin. Let's have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't care less. I'm... Just toss a coin, Jason. Let's just get on with this. Right, let's talk about you then, Steve. <laughs> That's my plan. There were people in well, I've chat just saying. I posted my team the old. Um... Yeah, you're a rival at the end of the day. I agree with uh, Charlie. Uh, show me the mana. <laughs> 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 FPL lad, you should be you should be doing this Char- as well. The, do we, Charlie, you need to speak to Charlie. He's taken a hit every single week since game week three, and he's yeah. like fourth in the league. Yeah, he was on yesterday, league. ridiculous, unbelievable. Right. Moving so on to he's, your team, you need Steve-o. to speak to him. Uh, I'm not making a move tonight. I'm not making a yeah, move just for, just... until right at the last minute. I've got I've got uh, point one in. Oh, uh, point uh, one. Uh, I might do. I might do. <laughs> I might do it on. Stri- <laughs> I might do a quick stream of me doing it. Um, I don't know tomorrow night. I don't know. Maybe. Do I've just seen. I've just seen that Allison's back at the weekend. No, oh, shush. Uh, jo- joking, mate. Joking. Yeah, so, yeah. Joking. Uh, so, yeah. St- so Steve-O's teams up on screen now. Pope, Otamendi, Lundstrom, Dinya, Cantwell, Mount, Salah, De Bruyne, Sterling, Puki, and Abraham. Oh, sorry, Aubameyang. Sorry. Um, your team, Steve-O's looking very. Similar to yeah, I mean, do... to what FPL lads right. planning on doing. Oh, just like that, whole, that just like captaincy, the whole Steve-O. <sighs> triple captain, triple. Yeah, triple I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm... No, I wouldn't use the triple captaincy. <laughs> I'm using them all. I use that all for either the final day of the season or double game week. I don't need to be using any chips, but I am going to be using my wild card almost certainly. Why? In the that team break, is unless ridiculously this... good. <laughs> no, it, yep. I had What's wrong with that? Yesterday, and I can't. And I can't be bothered to talk about it again because I'm bored about speaking about it. But it's just, it, how can it be doing well if I'm 1.4 million? Cause you, cause <laughs> it just how many times have you nailed a captain's day? Like, none? Probably none. That's, there you go, that's the difference. So, so basically, nobody... I don't nobody, know what's going on with Steve-O. Yeah, Steve-O. Going Steve-O. For Bamiang, this game we... <sighs> I don't know what's happened with internet, mate, but it's just like crackling and it's small again. I... Anyway, we'll, we'll persevere. Um, I'll try and ring you again. In a, in a, it's just looking at that team, like that's better than my team when I wild carded. Yeah, it is. I know. I know it's better than your team. I know for it's better than a lot of people's teams, but it does nothing. So <laughs> it's the, it's I don't, all about I don't care what people people say. FBL lag and says the greatest team on the planet. It clearly is. 
isn't it's 1.4 million oh, no. in the world oh, and as no, FBL no, no, lad no, no. said I'm getting the captaincy clearly wrong every single game. Steve, you're, you're... Um, so this particular game, we don't need to bother with a Bamiyan because he's going to fail miserably. I'm really worried about you. Um, I, I think you're going to overtake me this game week. I'm honestly... I hope so. I'm only 14 points behind you. Well, not anymore. If, this... if I take this minus eight, you won't be. If this, uh, if this, if this week ends up being like another 40 points, I'm, I'm hitting that wildcard button on um, Saturday evening. I'm hitting it straight away because. Well, sorry, Sunday evening, whatever. Um, Steve, because... you're only 40 points behind me, and I'm 197k. Yes, So your point being. That, that's literally like two captains. Like, yeah, but as, that, as I've already discussed... You, you, if you will hit them eventually, if you could go with a history, you keep saying, oh, I need to take my own advice. If you start doing that, and you'll start hitting them, you'll, make, you'll, you'll fly up the league. You do not need to wildcard that team. Take out Luca Dean, mm-hmm. definitely, and bring in Pereira after this game week that's easy that's done and then we just need to nail the captain like I, a lot of people have got all the similar players right there's a some sort of template there and people that have hit eight out of eight captains at the moment are top 5k top 10k i've hit five out of five out of eight i'm 200k you've hit none and you're a million <laughs> literally that's the difference you're mm. i'm 40 points above you because the other day i had the Bruyne captain for 34 points and I've had other captains that have got me 30 points. Whereas you've had blanks every week. That's literally the difference. Yeah. That's it. That is literally the difference. The 40 points is just that. A couple of captains. Mm. No, so I, just I, persevere I with, with it. You're with making the... the right decisions. You're just getting unlucky. That's yeah, it. That is yeah, literally that it. Is... But if you keep going with the stats and keep looking at the history, etc., etc., you'll hit one. Like If you've got a Bamiyan captain this week, there is no chance he blanks. Literally, if he blanks, <laughs> no, my... if he blanks, and I'm I'm getting like a one million red arrow because I'm taking a hit and bringing him in. So what I do want to say, you just reminded me, is that if I am planning on a, doing a transfer, and it and it, it's revealed that Cantwell is out, I'm bringing in that Saka. I'm going to take a punt on Saka. I think that he's definitely worth um for four point five million. I think it's worth bringing in just as a one week punt. Wow! Wow! I think you've uh, that's a bit too much of a punt, to be honest with you. I mean, I just want to play something for the chat. One second, I'm going to find it. Hang on, because this is something that SMZ made, and I thought this is just absolutely. Uh, it's my favourite thing that SMZ has done. And for those of you who don't know, SMZ is kind of our in-house meme specialist that picks the best memes that Stevo does and throws them up on a, a bit of a well in in Discord. And I'm going to play this one. Let me know what your thoughts are. So welcome to everybody that's joining us. I'm not going to lie, in the next three minutes I'm going to have to go for a quick break. Um, in fact, you know what, I'm going to give you a little clip, SMZ. Oh, go on then. I've got to go and put my washing into the, uh, the tumble dryer right there, so I'll be gone for about 30 seconds. There you go, have some of that. Shambles. A few moments later. Down, 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 down. Shambles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's hope we don't get a copyright strike for down, that music. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Steve, I listening back and we can hear it, right? Um, but um, there we go. Uh, where can we get that? Discord. If, if there's any Discord. reason, any reason why you you haven't joined Discord, when there's content like that being posted almost on a <laughs> daily basis by smz and other people like daily llama and yeah so uh, it was excellent and me. Was... <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's 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 great um i can't believe we didn't tweet that out, actually it's such a great that's my favorite video that smz's done that that uh, one minute i was gonna go to the tumble dryer brick <laughs> um but no um oh, it's it's a safe team for your uh, steve-o i don't think we need to talk too much more about it if you're gonna wild card i think you're mental but then who am i to talk I completely wasted mine. Um, should we um, think about getting some callers on? Yeah, absolutely. FPL Lab, thank you for joining us for the last yeah. uh, Cheers, well, hour, basically. Cheers, yes, dude. appreciate Cheers. it, dude. Thank you ever so much, dude. Speak soon. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll switch over the weekend, no doubt. Have a good one. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Cheers, let's, let's bring on a new caller. Are we the Northern Champs? 
Oh, it's Anorak. Oh, it's Anorak. It's the jet engine. Um, let's bring Anish on. Anish, you're live on air. It's a Game Week 8 preview. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, not too bad. Thinking about doing a minus eight, but other than that, I'm not too bad. Uh, are you set for uh, Game Week 8? Uh, I think so. I've got, um, yeah, I'm pretty much set, but it just depends on Cantwell and De Bruyne, to be honest. Yeah, so let's have a look at what you've got here then. So we've got... Um, yeah, Abraham like Captain, talk to me. Mm. What's your thought? Why Anish. what you chose to Captain Abraham? Why is that? I uh, just think that Southampton are going to concede goals and Chelsea look good going forward. Well, uh, but you've got the likes of obviously Salah in your team. You've got Pookie there as well. Sterling is a heavily captain player this game week. Are you not worried that um, you know the likes of Sterling may may uh, at home to Wolves may decimate? And um, you uh, obviously got the vice on him. I'm not too worried at all, actually. To be fair. Not worried at all. Uh, Happy with Tammy Abraham, even though he blanked last week. No, I think no, I agree. I mean, um, he scored obviously midweek, and um, the the away game, Southampton. I think I think there's goals in that for Chelsea. Yeah, okay. Um, you've got De Bruyne on your bench. I'm not quite sure why you've done that, and I'm not quite sure you, why you've played Cantwell over him because he's not ruled out. No, officially. it's just um, it's just I don't like seeing players with flags on my main eleven. So if he's going to be if there's like a ninety percent chance he plays, I will just. Swap but what happens if what happens if the team what happens if the press conference is Pep's is kind of saying, yeah, we're going to wait and see last minute if De Bruyne plays or not. You know, the flag isn't removed. Are you, are you telling me you're going to be playing Cantwell over De Bruyne? Um, probably not, actually, yeah. I'll just play him, but I'd, I think he'll either start or he won't play at all. Exactly. So put him in your team. There's no, literally, that'll be the, like, that's just a no-brainer for me because I don't see any of those other players not playing. So if you've got De Bruyne on your bench and he starts at home to Wolves, yeah, that could be massive disappointment for you. Yeah, I'm gonna probably transfer him. I'm probably just gonna put him in ahead of. I, lunch. I I would I I would maybe yeah I, I, well ahead of Lundstrom yeah it's another I mean it's another point if you think Cantwell's gonna do well, then yeah Lundstrom is another one that stands out there as a trans. Uh, Stevo, you've got um niche uh, Anisha's team up in front of you. Um, mm. thoughts. Yes, I think it's actually repeating exactly what you said there. I think that it's a really really good uh, team and going with Abraham captain. <laughs> there's sound logic to it FPL lad just on just now but essentially saying that Abraham's uh, along with the Bamiyan one of the best strikers in the in the league at the moment so I think that uh, it's a really really nice solid looking team at the moment I, I think though I would um, mm. certainly put in like you just said De Bruyne in uh, just, just in case but other than that didn't you do a transfer this week as well? Um, I haven't made a transfer this week no I was Considering it, but I'm not too sure now. And what was that consideration? Uh, it was going to be Salah downgrade and Greenwood to Babian. Oh, so for a minus four? For a minus four, yeah, but then Salah scored a race and now I'm having thought, doubts on it. Yeah, it's a very, very good point. Now, I, I would, I would, this team looks absolutely fine. I'd go into the, into the international break with two free transfers if I was you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, just, uh, I'm like you. I've got my wild card still to play. So I'm, yes. I'm, when when I are you planning on using? It. Do you know? Um, I was thinking around the Liverpool blank in game week 18. Ah, right. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about all that. Yeah. Very, very good plan indeed. No, overall, I think it's a very, very good team, Anish. Thank you, Anish. Appreciate you coming on tonight. Cheers. Thanks, Um, I'm going to call you back, Steve. You've gone all. Your internet's not got any better, so I'm gonna try and call you back. Um, well, guys, come on air if you're um if you want to share your team, talk about game week eight. Now is the time to do it. We are going to be streaming for the next half an hour or so. So yeah, get yourself on. And um, we've got uh we've got a few guys here in the waiting room already. Um, Anarag's here. Anarag, I'm bringing you in. I'm just gonna quickly just before you say anything, Anarag, we're just gonna call Steve-O back, and uh, hopefully his um camera and audio will be a little bit better so just bear with 
Hello, Steve-O. Hello, Steve-O. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we, hello, we can, hello, hello. There we go. It's slightly bigger camera, slightly bigger. So, yeah, we've got Anarag in with us now. Um, Anarag, are you, are you set for Game Week 8? Are you going to be doing well, any hits? I'm not doing any hits, but I'll take AW, I have to take AWB out. <laughs> I kept oh. I don't know why I kept it. I'm bringing Ottomandian. Okay, that's a sound move. I, I like that move. Um, and, and is your captain going to be comes in for KDB if he doesn't play. And I originally had captain on KDB. <laughs> now it's on Pookie. Now it's on Pookie, but you've got Jamie Vardy. I mean, I know he's away at Liverpool. You've got so you've got Mane and Salah. You know what? I think Pookie will do you well. I, I think if you decide to stick with I'm Pookie... I'm going to go a little bit different. I've been captaining Salah for the last seven game weeks. <laughs> let's oh, do something different. <laughs> yeah, well... Well, let's hope, let's hope for your Five sake that it's, Let's hope for your sake that he doesn't do anything and Pookie Halls. Um, yeah, I think you've um, you've got your transfers. Moving, <laughs> moving Wan Bissaka for Ot- uh, for um, for Otamendi is a wise move. Um, I would I wouldn't advocate having any Manchester United players in my team. I um, can't wait to get rid of Dan James for a minus four. Um, mm-hmm. I just think that your, your goalkeeper is going to. I mean, you're, you're not going to get any points from Heaton. Um, I don't think that's the only downside to that team. Um, bringing in Soyuncu. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you got Soyuncu coming in just in case De Bruyne doesn't play as well, yeah. which is good. Two point maybe, <laughs> probably. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, you got you got to play in defender basically. It's, you know, going forward, yeah. his, his fixtures are right afterwards. But um, yeah, I, you. Yeah, I think De Bruyne will play. I don't think you have to worry about that. And I think uh, I think the, the upgrade the upgrade to uh, Otamendi is going to serve you well, Stevo. Yeah. The Pookie captain, see, we all know how well he's done this year. Uh, FPL lad, of course, saying that he's averaged 13, basically 13 points a game at home. I think uh, you're all set, Anarag. I think um, Why it's a great, a great looking team again. You're still lagging on on the stream. I'm muted the stream, but the mute, it's, a, it's still lagging. What's lagging? Oh, what? it, yeah. oh thanks. Tech support. <laughs> lagging on Discord, you mean? Right, anyway. No, Steve is like. He's speaking, but like it's like he's lip sync. Like yeah, you but him, yeah, you should be yeah. But you're hearing him on Discord, though, right? Ah, uh, okay. You're right, anyway, see. anyway, so yeah, Anarag, I think you're set um, for this game week. I think you've already made the wise choice in your in your defender switch, and I wish you well with the with the Pookie captain. I look forward to hearing how it pays off for you the weekend. Yep. Thank you ever so much. Yep. Um, we're going to bring Bang on. Um, he's been waiting in a while. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Um, bang. 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 Good evening. You're live on air. It's the Game Week 8 preview show. Uh, we've done our predictions. We've talked about our teams. Are you there? You're currently Hello, muted. Jason. How are you? I am super. Thank you ever so much. Coming from the deluded man that's going to take a minus eight. How about yourself? I'm in the same exact same position as yourself, and I'm looking to take them. I've already taken a minus eight as well this week. Already? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I okay. Did, I brought in Yamo and McGinn. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, Stevo's dropped, guys. Stevo's dropped. We'll try and get him back. So, so seeing you do go. it um, makes me feel a lot more comfortable about my decision. Well, I don't know. My my decision making this season exactly is is the opposite of uh, successful. I would say, um, unfortunately, but what you know it, it's never too late to 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 change your fortunes is it so so no let's let's get your team up bang have you posted it in the um in the team screenshots yes you i have, have yes. you have yes yeah. so this is the post minus eight i take it correct excellent so steve if you're there please have a look at bang's team and give me your opinion yeah it's great <laughs> A Bamiyan captain, we all know he's going to fail because um, I've captained him. Um, I can only just make it out. Yarmolenko, player reform at the moment. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a great looking team. It's um, it's cost it's cost more me I can add, really. I mean, I, I would probably team. play Tamora. To be honest with you, well, this is this um, is interesting. Yeah, you got Tamori on the bench and playing Lundstrom. You're playing McGinn away at Norwich over De Bruyne. Now, this is another person that obviously I obviously we spoke to um, uh, mm. Anarag, who's benched De Bruyne too. Um, was it Anarag or was it no? It was Anish. Sorry, who benched De Bruyne? 
what is the thinking about benching De Bruyne? I mean, do you genuinely think he's not going to feature at the weekend? If he does it, it's probably just a cameo, and I'd rather have nine. I don't know if he is going to. Don't know if he is going to get a cameo, you know. He's either injured or he isn't, you know. <sighs> Fair point. I I think that it's one of those that can really, really bite you, having De Bruyne in and putting him on your bench. And not even that, putting him second sub as well, behind Tamori. I would be... My my opinion is if, if you are going to do something like that, I, I certainly would have Tamori in for Lundstrom because I think that Southampton are going to struggle to score uh, at home to, to Chelsea. And I think I think McGinn, I certainly don't think he's going to get a clean sheet point. It, I know I, I know it's a, it's a way at Norwich. I think Norwich will win that. I would I, yeah, I would be playing De Bruyne instead of McGinn for this game week, obviously. Well, for, for every game week, to be honest. But for, yeah, for, <laughs> right. for, for, for what you've got there, I would probably advocate playing De Bruyne and having McGinn as first sub, uh, Lundstrom second. Um, All right. But that's... You know, just my opinion and Steve O. Well, some people in chat are saying bench boost. Have you thought about uh, using bench boost? Um, not for this week. No, not if De Bruyne was fit, then prop, prop would be a good option, but definitely not while he's uh, got questionable injury status. Mm. Mm. So, so you've done a minus eight. Was that to get in the likes of Yarmolenko, Otamendi, and and uh, Obama, Aubameyang? Yeah, got rid of Salah. Wow. Okay, so 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 another person that's not too concerned about Salah. Now, I've, obviously, I'm not bothered about not owning Salah. I own Mane. Um, is it the situation where there's just more points coming in from different positions at low lower price points? And obviously, it's value cap- for money. I feel and and Son and Obama Yang's fixtures and the Chelsea fixtures they were just too good to pass up for the next five six weeks. So you said I always about- feel like I can bring the Liverpool assets back in. You, you said a minute ago this team has got you've had to take a minus 20 to get to this team is that oval that hits, is correct. This is oval hits so far this week this, this season uh this season oh, it's a bit embarrassing but i've taken uh, 13 hits 13 hits what where are you in the overall ranking if you don't mind me asking bang um about two million i believe wow okay so you're really banking on on uh, the likes of yarmolenko your captain of Bamiang paying off for you this this game week, then aren't you? You really are. Um, but you know what? You're only 600k behind Steve, so it's all right. <laughs> Just uh, not it's not many points between you and um, no, I laugh. It's probably not many points. What points are you on? Um, not too sure. Three hundred and uh, three six one. Three six one. Three six one. So you're only uh, thirty six points behind me. So there you go. It's not that many points, really, if you consider it, is it, to be honest? So there you go. Yeah. Um, um, I actually had a question for you guys. Um, I'm taking hits quite aggressively to get the team that I want, and now I am happy with my team. Um, would you would you recommend slowing down the hits now that you're settled and, and there's a you know, seven, eight game week worth of stats out there? Sooner or later, you're going to get punished for taking hits. Um, the, 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 law of averages, the law of averages says that you're probably not going to benefit from taking regular points hits, okay? And sometimes you can do a minus eight and it can turn your, turn your game week around. Um, other times you can do a minus 16, it can be a catastrophic failure, um, like what you saw with myself. And it's it's the timing, getting the players in at the right time. Are you getting them in after a run of form and a run of you know goals that they've got? Are you, are you, are you missing them? You're missing out on these points? Um, and just taking hits to get them in, and the players you're taking out, you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna blank every game week. The players you're taking out, so it's a case of just timing it right. And so far, I've not I've personally not timed it right. Have you timed it right? I think Abamyang's fixtures are, are luscious. I think Yarmolenko's fixtures are really nice. I think Yarmolenko's a great asset. Um, and I think that um, I think realistically speaking. A minus eight to bring the likes of Bamiang and Yarmolenko and Otamendi in is going to pay is going to pay you back in the, in the next four to five game weeks, as long as you don't take any more hits, of course. All right, the, the temptation's always there, but I'll try to hold on. I I would. I, I so, and your team's looking really good, actually. I'm not. Gonna, um, your team is looking very solid. I wouldn't play around with it now. You've got the likes. I've, to, got, you've got... 
Two and a half, two point four million in the bank as well. Yep, two and a half. <laughs> That's a very nice luxury to have, and um, you know you could you could think about spending, you know, upgrading a defender, maybe upgrading. Um, I, I mean, you've got Alexander Arnold in there. You've got Otamendi in there. Do you really? <laughs> I know, Steve. What what's your thoughts? Are you gonna, do you think going without <coughs> Liverpool midfielders is going to punish our friend Bang? Uh, well, their fixtures aren't particularly great per se. We all know that, especially Salah's form versus the uh, the, the big teams, i.e., Man City, the, uh, Man U, Tottenham, etc., etc. So who they got up next? Uh, Man U, Tottenham, Man City in the next five. Do you know what I'd be doing? Uh, it's the same. I'd be doing Pookie, Pookie to Callum Wilson. Yeah. Mm, how much money has he got in the bank? 2.5. 2.5? <laughs> it's yeah. taking a lot um, of yeah. um, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, not necessarily this game. This game is not a great one to be uh, doing that particular move for. But yeah. Next I'd be week, more yeah. concerned the fact that you haven't got a, a Man City um a midfielder, to be honest with you. Uh, the plan is to uh, well, we've got Kevin De Bruyne, but you know what I mean. And bring in, uh, Sterling. <clears throat> Can you hear him, by the way, Steve? I can't hear a word he said. I don't know why, but I haven't it's, heard a single word he said the whole thing. <laughs> the plan is to bring. Sorry, who in? Plan is to uh, bring in Sterling. Bring in St- um, Sterling for who? For Son. For Son. Okay. Okay. After his next home fixture. After Son. The, after the next home fixture. Okay. Fair enough. Um you can't have them all and I think I think ye, that may pay off as long as it's a, if it's a free transfer I wouldn't take a minus four though um, no, but no. Um, can't, can't, uh, see how Pookie does at home to Aston Villa and possibly look at uh, bringing in Callum Wilson you've obviously set your yeah. stall up with a uh, you know, Bamiang up there and you in your attack your attacking um, position there there was a lot of money tied up there with him and yeah there's a lot with De Bruyne there as well on your bench, I think you've got the one City asset that um, most of us will have season long. I think it's a case of Son or Sterling. I would go Sterling personally, only because Tottenham are just not looking that good. All right, and um, a question about United. I'm a United fan as well. Um, are you Wally out, Jason? <laughs> After the nil-nil, the nil-nil draw tonight. I don't think I'm at the point where I'm saying Oli out. I'm just so I'm I'm disappointed in the players. I'm disappointed in the board. I'm disappointed in Ed Woodward. I think the the business that we've done is awful. Getting rid of the likes of Ander Herrera, letting Ander Herrera's contract run out. Obviously, getting out Sanchez. I know Sanchez wasn't doing anything, but you know Sanchez letting Sanchez go, letting Lukaku go. Um, and not getting in viable replacements for them and relying on the likes of Mata, who's not getting any younger, Lingard, who's not scoring or doing anything. He's more interested in his social media and relying on McTominay to get goals just isn't enough for a Manchester United team. And we're a mid-table team at best. I'm sick of talking about them. I don't want to look at them again. I don't want to watch them until January. I hope Ibrahimovic signs for us in January because we've got no finisher up front. Martial could be a saving grace when he comes back from injury, but I'm not going to hold out much hope. Um, it's a bad time. It's a bad time. Matic is a, is a statue. Um, Static. Static. Matic. Static, Useless. yeah. Yeah, and I feel sorry for people that pay money. I actually got offered um, last week, you know, a couple, a couple of weeks in a row now, season tickets. Obviously, my, my dad's... My dad's best friend's got season ticket United. He's got he's a part of a group. They 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 share out season tickets. You know you can go and watch them. I've been offered a few times to watch United. I'm not going to go and pay money um, to to watch United at the moment. I'm not interested in travelling up there to watch them. Um, who knows? It could change in January. This is just being honest now. I'm sick. I'm sick of it, and um, I think I'm not the only one. Right, and uh, I've got one last question for Stevo. <laughs> Point. You got a question for Steve-O, yeah? Go on Steve-O, then. Uh, I can't. Yeah, go on. You're going to have to repeat it to me. I'll, re- I'll relay it. I'm going to relay it to him. Yeah, go ahead. Should I get rid of Heaton for Pope, the Should... Burnley keeper, or a 4.0 keeper, or just keep Heaton? Right. Okay. Should should um should he get rid of Heaton to Pope, a Burnley keeper, or should we just should we just keep um or as a 4.0 and just you know save money that way? 
I mean, if you've got Edison in, you're going to play him every week, aren't you? That's wasted yeah. money in Heaton. I would personally go to a 4.0 and play Edison every week if you could mm. have him in your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and absolutely. that's what Steve O's saying as well. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't rotate with Edison. Love the show, guys. You, thank you, you so much, Bang. Fantasy, so. <clears throat> no, thank you so much for your kind words. That's We, we try and improve every, every time we come on. I'm um, calling from Hong Kong. You're calling from Hong Kong? Well. Yes, for 4.46 in the morning. Amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you for your I support. Can't hear any of it. <laughs> thank you from Hong Kong. Thank you. I know you're going through some yeah, tough times you. in Hong Kong at the moment, and I'm. I, oh, it, it's, it's. We won't. We won't uh, go, very, won't go very, into. Very, we won't go into the politics, right but now, the, thoughts are with, with you. The, yeah. yeah, with the but, current situation. But thank you, thank you. Uh, you know uh, that you, you, you guys know about it. No, no, no. We do. We support you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, we've got a lot of people queued up to come on. Steve-O, I have no idea what's going on. We're going to try and reset you again. Um, hopefully, it will sort it out because there's something not right with your connection at the moment. So, we'll try and reset you. We'll get another caller on um, in a second, guys. I'm just looking now. We've got quite a lot of you guys actually coming up, wanting to come on. So, let's start with F. Pialaguero. F. Pialaguero, you're live on air at the moment. Um, no one can hear you because I'm just going to ring Steve-O back. So, just bear with me one moment. Are you there, F. Pialaguero? Right, one moment, FPL Great. One, one, one moment. I'm just going to try and get Steve O on. Um, here we go. Hopefully, this is solved. Slightly solved it. Right, okay. Uh, can you hear FPL Aguero, Steve O? Uh, speak, speak to me, Aguero. Yeah, I can hear Steve O. No, I can't. You can't? Have you tried restarting no. Discord, uh, Steve O? Restart. Right, I'll do that then. Yeah, you try restarting Discord, guys. We're going to take a, we're going to take a two minute break because I need the bathroom break. It will be two minutes and we'll be right back to take your call.
There we go, guys. We can hear me now. Steve has unfortunately got some issues with his microphone. Uh, and Sorry, his internet connection. Um, we've got FPL Aguero on with us. FPL Aguero, are you there? Hi, Jason. How are you guys doing? How I'm, are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, um, FPL Aguero. Um, are you willing to um, sh share with us? Have you shared your team in the, um, in the team screenshots? Yeah, Team screenshots, I think it's 9.38. Excellent, excellent. 9 bring it up. There we go. I'm bringing it up now. Um, so it's bear with me, guys. I'm just having to, to change things around because, unfortunately, Steve-O's internet's given up. Um, so you've got your team here. Adrian in goal, like myself. Pereira, Otamendi, Matip. Um, cleverly Mount, De Bruyne. Cle cleverly. Interesting pick there. Son as your vice. Mane, Aguero, and Haller. Um, you guys can hear me, right? You, can, you guys can hear me, right? Uh, no holobas, no holobas. So, talk to me um, about this team. Obviously, you, what's the thoughts with with Cleverly? Yeah, I just I, I I spoke to you guys a few days ago. I said I wanted Watford a holobas, but I checked he had four yellows, and I didn't bring him in, and I just picked a safe pick of Suyuncu for next week. For next week, and, um, yeah. yeah. Are you good? I did a minus so far. My my captaincy has been on Aguero as well, and I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared about having my captaincy on Aguero. Um, are you confident? I think that um, he's out of Man City by January after his fight in his press conference for Brazil. He was crying that he's not playing, and apparently his entourage has gone to Real Madrid to get a transfer in for your January. So I'm really confident with keeping Aguero. Really? Is that gonna have really? Where, where's this information? I've not heard. Of, I've admittedly I've been at work all, all day, but I've not heard about that. And um, where's that source come from? On my Express uh, code UK some website. Oh, okay. Was Interesting. Okay, You've still got Haller in your team. I mean, that's that's yeah. You know, I I predict uh, West Ham will do score goals, um, in that game. Um, and you know, there's. You've still got the Mane son. Yeah, I like that team. I do. I mean, Cleverly is a big question mark for me. I, I, but I mean, it's the the better pick out of the the obviously bench options that you've got, in my opinion. That home game, sorry, the home game to Sheffield United. Um, who knows? Watford could do something. They needed a lot of shots to do something against Arsenal. Will they get a lot of chances at home to Sheffield United? I think they will get the odd chance. And Cleverly will be up there with with, with um up there with a chance to get a return for you so that's fair enough um so you, have you done a transfer do you say yeah i did too actually i did cantwell to cleverly yeah and i did um for of um who was it that i had someone for soyuncu i brought in i'm pretty sure i think it was luca dean luca dinia to soyuncu what for minus four yeah so you got money in the oh, bank I it was, an, it was another defender. I'm not sure who it was. Yeah, I got one million in the bank. One million in the okay. bank. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. I mean, you got the likes of Pereira and Otamendi, Matip there. Hopefully, you're, you're obviously you're banking on Matip playing it all being well and good. Um, yeah, I think you're good. I think you're good for this game weekend. You're going to keep your captaincy on Aguero. No chance of taking it off. Uh, no chance for me. After I think a few strikers have have gone against Pep and they've finished at another club. This season after one comes to mind is Samueletto Guardiola and went to Inter Milan the following season. I think something's happening there. They're just keeping it under wrap. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on. I appreciate you coming on, Aguero, and your team's looking all right. I th I think you'll be all right this game week, and look forward to hearing you on the um on the uh, on the soccer Saturday or the Sunday surgery. We could talk about how you got on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank. We've got a few other callers we can try and get on as well. Got Irish Tom. Irish Tom's new. Irish Tom, you can you hear me? You're live on air. Well. Well, well, well. Is, is this your first time on, on air with us? That's my first time, I guess. It's your first time on. Well, thank you ever so much. How long have you been watching our show for? I'll be honest with you. I've only been watching, I'd say, the past like, week and a half, I'd say, yeah. Oh, wow. So you're quite a, yeah. quite a new new viewer to the show. What uh, Are you enjoying the content? Are you um, enjoying the Discord? Yeah, I, I only uh, started talking in it today because uh, it didn't work last week. So, mm. oh well, well, we're glad yeah. to, we're really glad to have you here. And um, I've talked about my minus eight. Are you are you set for this uh, upcoming game week? And um, are you able to post your team in the team screenshots channel by any chance? 
And I'll be honest with you, I on my laptop, I don't even know the screen shot. I don't know why. Oh, right, but okay. Hard work here and tell you, <laughs> I'm 871 in the league, so. 871 uh, in the what the community league? Community league, so. All right, yeah. see if I can get you. Bear with, with me one moment, let me see. Um, Because sometimes it doesn't let you go back that far. So just give me two seconds, let's see if I can find you here. 871 in the community league. So, so you um done any hits this week? Sorry, didn't even uh, I didn't even uh, really work on the team this week. To be honest with you, know. I, I'm oh yeah, it won't let me go any further. Unfortunately, apart from, <laughs> won't let me go further than 351. Um, that's not an issue. Um, so let's just talk about your team then. So um. Wait. I get up there. Wait, I have to get up for. Okay. I'm just a bit depressed. Going to my fucking Kiev, fucking let me down. Can you not swear no. on air? If that's all right, thank you. Really? It's right. It's a family-friendly show. We try to keep swearing out. Um. So yeah, who've got? Who've you got in goal? Irish Tom. I've got Pope. Okay. Yeah. And um, Sorry, I've got Pope in goal. Yeah. And Shevchenko. Uh, Trent Otamendi. Son, Salah, Mount, De Bruyne, McGinn, and Pukie and Vardy. Well, I like your midfield. I think, um, I mean, are you, are you? is this going to be a last chance for Pukie for you? Obviously, that, that game, uh, home game to uh, Aston Villa, or are you looking to possibly ship him out if he doesn't get you anything back? Yeah, I'd say I'm going to ship him out if he doesn't score. He has to. He just has to, man. Yes. Did you, you said Zinchenko, right, in your team? Yeah. I, um, have you done a transfer? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't quite hear. Yeah, uh, no. I think I might ship him out this week, though. To Otamendi. Uh, no, I have. I have both of them. Oh right. So who are you Some... thinking of? Who are you thinking of bringing in? Sorry, if you ship out Zinchenko. Uh, I'm thinking of Tamori, and then mm. have a bit of money there to upgrade. He's got some great fixtures, and he. Yeah. No, I think that's a good one, and then you can obviously do that. Do that transfer this week and then you could save money and um who knows you might even be able to afford to bring in uh do an upgrade towards callum wilson you got any money in the bank at the moment let me see i have point four in the bank yeah. point four in the bank i don't think you're gonna have enough to stretch stretch to callum wilson from pookie what who would you upgrade in your team with that extra bit of money uh i don't even know man uh i haven't really thought about it this week i'm the what I was telling you, and the bet on today, Dynamo Kiev let me down 350 quid. I'm a bit fuming. Oh no, <laughs> I'm just uh, it's just an effort, man. I hate betting. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's all right when it, when it pays off, but it's torment when it doesn't. Um, but no, thank you for, for, for joining us for the first time, and hopefully, next time we can get you sorted out with the screenshot so we can have your team on the on the screen. That'd be great. Um, but no, I appreciate you coming on this this evening. Thank you ever so much, Irish Tom. Um, for coming on the show there i'm going to just move the um guys i'm just going to move the chat um because obviously steve o going is kind of meant that i've had to change the layout slightly here so i'm kind of doing it on the fly so do bear with me one moment i'm just going to move the chat over uh if i can just find it one moment here we go uh where are we now that's that one let's move that over there we go so let's move that there and bring it bigger there we go and then we'll then look at bringing the screenshots a little bit bigger for you guys. So we've got um we've got um FPL Penguin here. FPL Penguin, you're now on air. Game week eight preview. How are you doing this uh, this week, FPL Penguin? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, unfortunately, we're a, a bit um bit uh, gutted that Steve-O's internet fail uh gave out, but um, we'll hopefully get that sorted. He's he is looking to up to to change his internet very soon. So. Uh, Hopefully that's something which we can improve on. So we've got your team here now. Um, that's that Wambasaka pick uh, really hasn't paid off for you, is it, Mister Penguin? No, but I'm actually feeling if he does play against Newcastle, I'm actually feeling, believe it or not, confident he might keep a clean sheet against Newcastle. I know that's nice. quite a bold thing to that, say. That is I'm... well, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is. But to be honest with you, it's I, I, as a United support, I'm not holding out any. Any hope? Um, I mean, Newcastle United, aren't great really themselves, but they're not. United, Man United are. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Keep, I don't want to make the stream just all about Man no. United. To be honest with you, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I just think. Um, I think 
oh, if you if you want to stick, you've stuck with him this long. Do you really need to get him out now? The know. thing, the thing is, um, I'm going to plan what I'm doing for game week nine. I've done my free transfer. I bought a Bamiyang back in my team for Pookie. Uh, I'm just, I know, I know. I'm just hoping it's not a Pookie party, <laughs> but I think it will be. Hmm. Um, but uh, I brought a Bamiyang back in, and my plan is because I've got um, how much have I got in? I think I've got. Oh no, my plan is to either is to take out Wickham for this is the next game week, yeah, um, and upgrade him to Wilson, Callum Wilson, but I won't have enough uh, to bring him in, so I have to take a hit. So I'm thinking that if I've taken out... What about I'd... taking Wambasaka out and bringing in Tomori in? I... Oh, uh, I haven't really tried that. <laughs> I was going to say take either Marnie or Sterling out. I know that's quite a bold thing. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. And to who? Yeah. Uh, to Yarmolenko. Because West Ham have got some nice fixtures. <sighs> I don't know. Man. I know. I know. It's such a downgrade. I, I, I'm I looking at Lamella. I'm looking at Lamella there. So Yarmolenko, personally. Uh, what's mm. he, what's Lamella at the moment? It's what? Sorry. Do you know how how much is a Lamella at the moment? I I don't. I, uh, I think he's oh, six point one. Is he? All right. So it would, yeah, 6.2? You're, just, you're not going to free up any funds, really. There are you? But uh, no, that's the only way. That's the only way I can bring Callum Wilson in by taking a. Mm, yeah, it's, I, I, it's a tough one. <laughs> it is. I don't think I wouldn't be holding hope with Lamella. I'd be looking to ship him out for the likes of Yarmolenko or someone like that, maybe a McGinn. Um, mm. I just think that the because you've got a Bamyang there, you've got the likes of a Bamyang, De Bruyne, and Sterling. It's going to be hard to 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 move your team around without taking hits to bring in Callum Wilson. And yeah, I don't know if I'd be wanting to take out um, Sterling to be honest with you, or or Mane. Um, mm. I think I think they're they're going to probably outscore uh, Callum Wilson and to take, you know, to bring in, I mean, with, with Lamella in your team as well, I just, yeah, I, I personally wouldn't do that. Um, I would look to, um, I would look to just switch out Lamella and Wambasaka. Uh, I think, um, I think I'm just laying towards panic mode. That's what I'm doing. Just panicking a bit. Cause that defense to me, well, I'm feeling confident about that defense in my opinion this weekend, uh, Lundstrom against Watford. Hopefully, I do think Zinchenko will start. I think Mendy starts in the Champions League. So, if Pep does do it the way we want it to, Zinchenko will probably start against Wolves. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I would, oh, well, I would I say, don't trust him. But... I think it's the toss of the coin. I don't know. I wouldn't second guess Pep. I'm worried about De Bruyne. I'm worried about Aguero, about how many minutes Aguero is going to play. And, you know, mm. with Pep at the moment, he's just he's pulling out these surprises. And I don't know if it's... I've got a feeling that Mendy's going to play. I bet he's doing this to annoy his Pep. I bet he knows about fantasy football. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he's, he's he doing knows. it. He knows. <laughs> he knows about fantasy football. He, of course he does. Of course he well, knows. Well, my plan is is to get Trent in soon because game week 13, I think, is when our fixtures, Liverpool's fixtures, get a lot more better. And Alisson's obviously back, hopefully, around about then. So we'll be getting Trent yeah. in around about that game week and onwards to upgrade okay. maybe one bissaka well, I mean, yeah, that Trent is is someone which I think everyone's going to probably flock to mm. over the next few weeks. Obviously, the fixtures aren't so great for Liverpool. Maybe after game week fourteen, I certainly think Trent is is uh, not essential, but a high, a yeah. highly a highly prized FPL asset. But no, I think you've got your your plans there. I I just don't like a Lamella. I just don't like Lamella. No, me. I know what you mean. I was the same, but I just panicked because I needed that Spurs asset mm. when the when Spurs had those kind of good fixtures against Southampton which they because <laughs> I, I couldn't afford Sun mm. I couldn't afford Sun so like I went the for budget, an alternative the budget, yeah the budget choice yeah. weigh in and obviously Lamella you know being benched and all that but I just think that mm. um, I think yeah I think your priority there should be the Lamella out the Yarmolenko in that's what I'd be doing personally mm-hmm. shipping out wan maybe not this week but eventually bringing him out probably for Tomori someone's got a bit of you know but do you not think and... um, Callum Wilson versus Norwich at home I, is quite no, I, I a tasty do. It, fixture? I do, but Callum Wilson's an awkward price point for you at the moment, and it's going to involve mm. you doing some surgery to your team that I just don't think is going to get you more points. I don't I'll think. take a minus 16. <laughs> oh, joking. God, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen to my voice. I'm I'm, I'm really I'll tempted try. to do my minus 8. Did you, did you, by the way, did you talk? Did you see my minus 8, by the way? No. No. You didn't. So, yeah, so Dinya out, Tomori mm-hmm. in, um, Lansbury out, McGinn in, and Dan James out, Yarmolenko in. 
Mm. That's good. Cool. So that, that's a minus eight. So, but that's that's for that's for another ch- discussion. But thank you, FPL Penguin, and I hope. No, thank you. I I, I think your Aubameyang pick is is brilliant. I really do. I think he's got goal. I got plenty of goals in him at home to Bournemouth. So, I wish you well. Yeah, oh, cheers, mate. Thank Thanks you. For cheers. Me on. Speak soon. Appreciate no, speak soon. Hopefully, the weekend. Um, we're going to bring on Charlie Tika 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 Mo Salah. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Hello. Good evening. You're now live on air. You're chatting away in the waiting room. I appreciate you coming on. How are you doing? It's game week yeah, eight. Good. Are you feeling good, good? Are you feeling like the FPL gods are smiling on you? Uh, sort of, but I'm just worried about Aguero. You, you're not the only one. I'm I'm worried about Aguero. I'm, you've got the captaincy in De Bruyne. I'm worried about De Bruyne. I'm worried about Matip. I know you yeah. ain't got him in. I've got massive worries in my team. But I can... <laughs> I, I mean, firstly, um, I want to ask you, um, the minus eight idea... Did yep. you did you see my my picks? That I thought about bringing yeah. in. Yeah, um, you've pretty much got in all my players, aren't you? Except Tamori. Well, Tamori McGinn, Yarmolenko. <laughs> I just I like I like them. I like them. I yes, really do, yeah. and I like them more than. Okay, Dinya could bite me, but I mean he's not really not really doing anything at the moment. Um, no. Obviously, Lansbury's a non-playing player. Who yeah. who's going to be upgraded to McGinn and obviously, obviously Dan James has been a big failure for me. So Yarmolenko, I can see outscoring him over the next four to five weeks easily. Definitely. I, I is it worth a minus eight this week? Probably is not going to pay off massively, but over the course of the next four five weeks, if I can save taking hits afterwards, I think it will pay off. Um, yeah, but definitely. looking at your team, Matt Ryan and goal at home to Tottenham. <sighs> Oh, you'd be hoping clean, for, you'd be hoping, sheet, easy you're hoping for save points i think yeah i think tottenham may get the goal will they win it i don't know um van dyke at home to leicester you're looking at hopefully. yeah i'm worried about that <laughs> Too well steve thinks uh, steve thinks that um steve thinks it was going to be just a, a comfortable win for, for liverpool with a clean sheet nah, no i chance. i think leicester have got a goal in them I, easily I really yeah easily FPL lads in but, chat saying, can you do a minus four and just have one of the mids? Uh, all three transfers necessary. Unfortunately, the funds from Dina is necessary. Uh, to answer your question, FPL lads. Sorry, um, um, Charlie, you were saying... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I was just going to say about... Um, yeah, like Liverpool, uh, they could concede too. The way defensively the other night, they were awful. I mm. think, um, you know, Matip being injured is a massive loss because Gomez... Well, all of them. Well, except Trent. I thought Trent was all right, but Robertson defensively, along with Gomez and Van Dijk, were awful. Awful well, defensively. I don't rate Robertson as a defender, and I think yeah. that he's just got lucky about being in a Liverpool team that's got Van Dijk, you know, and I I don't think he's going to come close to the points that he scored last season. I think it was a bit a bit inflated. I think he overperformed last season. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, so far this season, my kind of my my suggestion of that has kind of held true. Um, yeah. But um, looking at your team, you've got the you've got the the. I like the look of McGinn. I like the look of Yarmolenko. Um, you've your bench is is fairly sound as well. Um, I don't think. I think even if if uh, Liverpool keep you know do concede a goal, you've got Trent Alexander Arnold in there. He could get something from a set piece quite easily or from open play. You've got Van Dijk from a header from a corner. You, could, you he's a bonus point magnet as well. Um, yep. I think you've got all the key players in your team this week. I really do. Captaincy on De Bruyne, I would be worried about. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's, that was just on there in case, but I, it's, I don't think he'll play, especially with a international break. It, it just it just won't play, I don't think. So mm. yeah, I'm I'm worried about um yeah, I'm worried about that and obviously you, the Aguero thing. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's really massive. Bugging me. I mean it's a lot of money that's tied up in those two players that if they don't feature, you you're banking on the likes of Campwell and Unstrom. Yeah. Similar to me. Similar to me. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this well, thinking about well, probably gonna do this minus eight to be honest with you. Even though it's a minus eight, I'm gonna be bringing in the likes of Yarmolenko and again like you've got, but having yeah. them there Having them there to cover for Aguero and or De Bruyne don't that don't feature, or you know if or if they do, it's going to be for us. You know, if I think Aguero, if he's going to, I think at two the reduced minutes are going to be with Aguero. I don't think I don't see De Bruyne coming on for a cameo. No, no, he's no, either injured or he's not. not. 
yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, I wouldn't. The only real concern there for me is, is Matt Ryan, to be honest. Um, save points, save points, save points. I mean, it'd be Tottenham aren't exactly amazing at the moment, but I can see him scoring. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, but you know, you're hoping out, you hope, you held hope. So far, Ryan's proved a lot of people wrong this season. He's he's pulled out a lot of um, saves yeah. and bonus points. So who knows? Um, this this season's been topsy turvy. Um, yeah, no no thoughts of Tammy Abraham captain or a Pookie Pat captain as well. Home to, to Aston maybe. Villa. I mean, Tammy looks good. Five goals mm. in his last two Premier League away games. You know, Wolves and Norwich. Mm. Um, yeah, Pookie, maybe. I think that game's going to be a 3-2. I think because both teams can't defend, but they can both score. Um, Obviously, I bought Yarmolenko was actually my transfer in. I made. I that like on, it. I made that on Saturday evening, so I caught the price rise as well for Dan James. Mm, yeah, well, uh, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah I've... I've um, yeah, I Dan James is just like 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 you've you've done. I think that's a really good transfer. Yeah, I, um, especially with the fixtures. Yeah, the fixtures looking good. I, I, no, I think you're set. I look forward to hearing. or well, I look forward to seeing if you stick with. You. Well, I, I don't think you will stick with you, De Bruyne. I think you'll you're chicken out and you'll move it off. Um, but to who? That's the question. I mean, if you yeah. do, if you do, I look forward to speaking to you on Saturday and all the uh, Sunday surgery. Thank you ever so much, Charlie. Yeah, definitely. Cheers. James. Cheers, dude. Thank you ever so much. Bye. Um, let's bring on fpl anderson who's been waiting in chat and then we'll bring on jj man as well this is your last chance guys if you want to talk about your teams come and wait in the waiting room bring your team put, post your teams in the screenshots uh team screenshots channel um fpl anderson are you you're muted at the moment how are you doing i'm good mate you yeah not too bad thinking about doing a minus eight but you know things could always be worse i could be 1.4 million um your yeah, team no, is on of, the team's on the I've screen re- i've raised Sorry? my rank I've gone up to 1.5 mil. 1.5? Yeah, okay. So you're not from... that far behind me. Two seconds, I'm on a bit of lag. You've got the sc- have you got the stream going at the moment? No, I've just disconnected my Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. I've... So you're on 4G or something at the moment, are you? He's disconnected his Wi-Fi and he's gone. Okay, no worries. JJ Man will hopefully get you back. JJ Man, you there? JJ Man, can you hear me? JJ, can you hear me? Hello. There we go. That's JJ Man. Right, let's get your team up here. We've got, um, yeah, another one that's obviously got the dilemma of Kevin De Bruyne. You've got Sterling in as well, but you have got Harry Kane. Um, I have been, yes. Double Spurs. Now, how confident are you with your team this week? I'm not very confident at all. Um, so I am thinking of bringing in a Bamyang for Harry Kane. Okay. And put him captain. I think that'd be much, much safer. Um, even though I said I wouldn't go back to Bamyang. Well. Because <laughs> Buna gave me a lot of stick for captain the, captain the Bamyang as a Spurs fan. But um, I think I've got to do it this week. I think I've got to do it again. I think I think that transfer could be, could pay off. A captain, bring in a Bamyang, captain him, take the dilemma off of the Man City um roundabout the the, the merry-go-round have son in there to, to kind of have a, a spurs asset in that game too yeah. and yeah i think i think you may be you might be right there i mean that's just guys in chat what do you think kane to bamiang um just to obviously you've you haven't done a transfer already it would be for minus four am i right no yeah i'm, I'm not very keen on hits so no. yeah well i haven't transferred yet you're not keen on hits did you hear about <laughs> my minus eight suggestion do you think um, I'm mad? I wouldn't say you're mad, but um, yeah. Who's it? Yamalinko and who are you getting in? So, so I'm going to be getting rid of the likes of Lansbury and non playing 4.4 for McGinn. I'm going to be taking out Dan James, who's literally been off. He could put million crosses into the box for United and no one will get on the end of them. Yeah. Um, for Yamalenko, who's in, who's in form, has got a great international record, come back from injury now, and I think he's going to get some some uh, some points this week. And um, Dan Graydon Dinya, who's been a bit of a hit, well, he's not been amazing, and then bringing in um, Tamori. Tamori, yeah. I mean, I I do like Tamori, um, definitely, with his run of fixtures and his price. Mm-hmm. You can't really go wrong. Um, although I don't think he's going to keep a clean sheet this weekend. Um, oh, yeah, you but think Southampton that, might think... get a goal in? Yeah, I reckon they'll nick a goal against okay. Chelsea. Yeah, but going forward with the fixtures, I think yeah, tomorrow is a good good choice. But yeah, yeah, Malenko, he's he looks really good. 
Um, even last season when he got injured, he he was looking really sharp, and he's come back looking even sharper now. So it, I do like that signing. It gives year. me a little bit of a safety net as well, just in case Aguero doesn't play or De Bruyne doesn't play for whatever reason. I get McGinn coming off the bench for one of them. Um, it just fills me with a bit more confidence than having Lansbury, Rico um on the bench really and i just yeah i mean yeah, yeah i mean if, if you do transfers and hits and it makes you feel confident going into the game week then i feel a little bit more relaxed i think confident yeah. is a bit too strong of a word i think more relaxed to go i mean i i know that steve-o was is 14 behind me now it'd be it'd be um obviously taking a minus eight you know, he's, he's getting closer and closer to me it, it makes it a little bit interesting in terms of rivalry yeah, yeah. but um but no i I think it's it's you know the points are reclaimed. Um, who so who are you actually looking at captain in? Sorry. Oh, that's a good question. I haven't really got it set in stone at the moment for myself. Um, it may be a it may be a sleep on it moment and wait. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to wait to see the press conferences tomorrow. I'm not going to do yeah. my minus eight until after the press conferences tomorrow, guys. So I might do a stream tomorrow night to just talk about doing it and to talk about my captaincy. But I'm not decided yet, hundred percent. Okay, interesting. But, uh, are you? So you, are you? How how sure are you on this Abamyang transfer from Kane to Abamyang? Then I'm like I say ninety percent. I think yeah, because other than that. I... I haven't really got a captain trust. I've got Sterling actually, um, but I'm not too confident in Sterling. So I think Abamian is yeah, yeah, it's nine nine out of ten. I think I'm gonna I think if you bring him in, it's it's a no brainer, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you ever so much, JJ Man, for coming on. We'll speak to you hopefully at the weekend and talk about your Abamian returns. Thank you. All right, cheers, Jason. cheers, JJ. Bye. Um, FK Anderson is, uh, I think we've had him on. Um, F- Firetog. There we go, Firetog. Um, Firetog, are you there? Good evening, Firetog. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. You're going to be the last caller tonight. It's 20 okay. past 10 almost. So, yeah, we're going to bring your team up now. You've got uh, Nick Pope and goal, Tarkowski. Ooh, we're Tarkowski. Um, we've got um, Alexander Hello, Arnold. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, cool. Awesome. We, I can hear you loud and clear. Alexander Arnold, Otamendi, Cantwell, Mount, Son, Sterling, Puki, Abraham, and Abamyang, the mighty Abamyang. We just. Let's had JJ on is bringing in uh, Abamyang for Kane and putting the armband on him. You've got the armband on him. Are you confident? Bournemouth at home. Yeah, pretty much confident. The only th- my question for you is I've got two free transfers and I have no clue whether to use them. I'm actually thinking of burning the transfer this week. Any money in the bank? 0.3. Ooh, okay. Let me just quickly just... Uh, one second. Uh, there we go. You can we can see your def- you can see your subs. So you got Madison, Tamori, and oh, okay. I've just seen your subs that you've got. Oh, yeah. Wow. So how much in the bank have you got? Sorry. Point three. Obviously, Madison's away at Liverpool, so I benched him um, for Cantwell, which was kind of the the decision I had to make whether I bench Cantwell or Madison. So I've decided I'm going to bench Madison because I'm playing um, Trent. But the well, question is, I don't know. If you've got two free transfers, free transfer? I, I'd be bringing in Yarmolenko, my friend. For Madison? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. And then I'd be benching Cantwell for Yarmolenko. Yeah, Camp- I'm, not, I'm not really happy about playing Cantwell. but and you'd save was, your other transfer for the international break. Well, I'd have two again, wouldn't I? You would, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, I like originally that. my plan was to try and find a way to get De Bruyne in, but obviously... Um... Wow. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a little story. I started with De Bruyne and no Sterling. And then I'm in the I'm in your cash league. And everyone in the cash league had Sterling after oh. three weeks. I'm like, oh, my God, everyone's captain Sterling. He's going mad. So I did a eight-point surgery to take De Bruyne out and bring in um, Sterling. Since then, Sterling's done bugger all. And De Bruyne oh, has scored man. 41 points. Yeah, I, I, just, I think I've got this horrible feeling that De Bruyne is going to be rested. He's not going to play. That's yeah. why That's why I'm feeling... Com- this is why I'm... D- thinking of getting McGinn in for Lansbury just to cover it for, for cover that eventuality you don't have to worry about taking hits you've got the luxury of two free transfers you've got Cantwell in there and Pookie I think you may have one I know Norwich are great at home but there's also that worry about Cantwell's fitness there's apparently rumor going around he's tweaked a hamstring oh, really? yeah oh, okay. there's, there's a rumor going around he's tweaked a hamstring I personally would get Yarmolenko in and play him and save your other transfer and get to for the international break that's my suggestion my other thought was madison out for mcginn and then soyunko who's on the bench right now 
for Pereira, who'd also be on the bench because they're playing Liverpool. But then I've got Pereira for all those Liverpool fixtures. I would be looking to improve my team for this week, personally. Before I, with, you don't think it, you don't think McGinn would be an improvement? He's um he's at Norwich. Um, well, I'm bringing him in, so I do think he's 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 a he's a good he's a good player. Um, but for this for this week and for the fixtures going forward, out of McGinn and Yarmolenko, I'd probably pick Yarmolenko personally. Um, I know McGinn's got great stats. He's been involved in a lot of um, he's, he's been in a lot of a lot of ch- chances, um, and yeah, I would still probably go Yarmolenko over McGinn if if I was looking to ship out Cantwell um, for the for the next few game weeks. But it's well, a toss of the coin. Cantwell's going to stay. He's just going to be a bench fodder. Mm. Because Madison... Oh, sorry, sorry. No, beg your pardon. Madison, sorry for Madison. No, and um, yeah, that's that's what I'd be doing. I'd be I'd be moving out to Madison for Yarmolenko. That's my opinion. I think yeah, I think okay. Yarmolenko is a better asset going forward uh, for the foreseeable for, for the foreseeable future yeah, of game been, weeks. Been, what's their fixtures like for West Ham going forward? They're good for like another three, and then they go bad. Is that right? Um, uh, West Ham, West Ham, West Ham, West Ham. There we go. There we go. So let's bring him up. So the fixtures of West Ham going forward. You've got um you've got Crystal Palace at home, Everton away, Sheffield United at home, Newcastle at home, Burnley away. So I like oh, so, I like those fixtures. Yeah. Yeah, no, and then the you know, and then Aston Villa, um, their fixtures are not as good. They've got some tough ones. They've got Norwich away, obviously after that they've got Bright Brighton at home. They've got Man City away, then Liverpool at home. Right, yeah. So he's so, a two so week he, two week pun and then he's gone, really. Pretty much, yeah. I that's why I prefer Yarmolenko out of the two. Um for, for Madison. Yeah, no, but, good call. No, but um I I'm mindful of the time. Thank you ever so much, Fire Talk. Right, Whereabouts great. are you in the Thanks, cash league? Uh twenty eight. Oh, so above like me then. God, here we go. I started off eighty four and I've <sighs> slowly been moving up. So we, we passed every each other been... and I'm we did. Down. I think yeah. we passed each other on your minus 16. Yeah, well, let's not remind me about that. But thank you. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know about your minus 8. Um, I wouldn't do that personally. Uh, but no, yeah, I know no, you were, no. yes, you I'm, play a different game than me. I play, yeah, I do. I play, I, I'm a bit more risk averse. But um, thank yeah. you ever so much, well, Fartog. Best of luck. Cheers. Um, I'm going to need it, I feel. Thank you. Guys, thank you for very much for joining for joining me and Steve-O tonight. I'm a, I apologise again for Steve-O's connection. It's just one of those things. Sometimes when you go live, you get hiccups, you get technical problems. Uh, we'll look to solve that. And who knows, I may do a quick stream tomorrow night to do my minus eight um, on air and to pick my captaincy. I wish you all the best for your team selections for game week eight. And hopefully we will uh, we'll have a little chat about it before the game week goes live. Tune in on Saturday for a possible soccer Saturday with Steve-O and myself. I don't know if what time Saturday, um, but we'll try and get on. Um, but be be tuned into Discord and to our social media for, to find out exactly when. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, guys. Show your support. Hit that like button. It helps YouTube um, categorically put our videos up in the uh, in the rankings, higher up in the rankings. It helps us out, and also um, we look forward to. Um, having you come on if you're not a part of our discord channel already come in to our discord link is in the description and i'm sure one of the moderators can link the link as well in the chat i think that's it pretty much at elite fpl on the social media and let's see you at the weekend I, just just an interest where, whereabouts are you not not in the world but are you near like a an industrial um machine or something it's very uh two seconds uh, just ask a couple of questions so i just need to get the door for a yeah, second no Sorry. Problem, this man. is this is what happens when you're lying Dad, what's going on uh no, not really i'm waiting to go to gym what about yourself um live on youtube doing a stream why do you feel that you're constantly changing your teammate is it just, it's just, just so many so- ideas so many ideas, so many different perspectives. I br- I blame Brett Mollison for his five at back because when you see my new team, <laughs> wow, Brighton home. They couldn't buy a goal in the little last season. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Dan's got Dan's got Glenn Murray. I think he'll have a word to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm detecting possibly a German accent. I'm probably completely way out. But where are you calling us from? South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a first day, I literally just typed in FPL.
like first draft and yours came up like first mm. so i thought oh well, i'll watch one of the live streams when it comes on and then i thought this is a bit long isn't it about two hours in and then three hours later <laughs> well an hour later i was like yeah these seem all right you know well, Steven, well, it's not that bad i have one que- i have one question for you i i want um i want you to predict the order of the elite fpl ranking so like <laughs> who, who do you think will who do you think will finish first second and third out of y'all three this season? so it's certainly no disrespect to dan but it's certainly going to be between me and jason and right <laughs> now as it stands i'd go with jason because my history suggests that i'm going to be having a bad season so i've got the uh the five at the back i just see a lot of value there i feel like if i if i don't have salah i can spread the money elsewhere and maybe maybe get the points another way um all the teams now except for obviously salah and sterling these players a lot of players are going to change towards the start of the season just because of new transfers um injuries that could happen and all of that so for me to tell you now like personally right now i'd say definitely if tammy abraham or Batshuayi are cheap i'd get one of them just because i don't care about the man united we can score against them at least two or three hey guys this season we're using discord it's a text and voice application where you can talk all things fpl with fellow community members you can post your team in the rate my team talk in the general chat you can look at transfer news look at awesome gifts Sign up for our Cash Mini League, look at our previous podcasts, and even join us live on air in one of our streams. We look forward to seeing you guys. Link is in the description or look at the code on screen.